What's up Modiverse, Dr. Dave here, welcome to the Geek Lounge. On today's video we are continuing with our series of Naruto Kaio unboxings. That's right, I will be opening up at least one of every Naruto Kaio product I could get my hands on in a series of videos to close out the year. So if you guys are fans of this product and enjoy these unboxings, do me a favour and go ahead and smash that like button as well as subscribing and enabling those notifications to join me on this series. And as always guys, a little bit of info on these cards on these sets and you can also find some useful links in the description below. So these cards are an officially licensed product in China, licensed by Pierrot Studios, the animation studio behind Naruto, Boruto and other popular animes such as Bleach, Black Clover and Tokyo Ghoul just to name a few and are produced by a company called Kaiyu. These awesome looking cards started releasing back in April 2021 and new sets continue to be made in a varying degree of tiers and ways with different cards and pull rates dependent on the set you buy. If you guys would like to know more about these amazing cards, for instance, which box belongs to which wave and or tier, the cards you can pull in a particular box, the rarities, pull rates, where you can purchase the cards and much, much more, head on over to Facebook and join these two groups, the Kaiyu Naruto Card Collectors English group set up by BAM Collectibles as well as VTG's Kaiyu Library set up by VTG. TG collects for a treasure trove of information as well as to meet other collectors within the community. And without further delay guys let's switch things around and open up this box. Alright guys so this is the tier 2 wave 2 box which first introduced the CR cards. Very very popular cards that are exclusive to tier 2. In fact from wave 2 all of the tier boxes have their own exclusive cards which are the highest pulls you can get in each box as well, nothing in wave one. As for the artwork here, you can see we have Naruto, Dead Center, maybe doing some Shadow Clone Jutsu, Sakura, Deidara, and Gara flanking him there. We have Orochimaru on one side, and then we have Zabuza on the other side. Let me just get this set up then guys, and we will open up the packs. All right then guys, we are all set up. There are some sleeves if we do manage to get any big hitters. I really do hope to get a CR card. I haven't got one yet, and I think I have opened up. Maybe it is actually only one tier two box so far, actually on the channel. I know I've definitely opened up the tier two wave five box before. But did I open up another tier two? I can't entirely remember, but you know what? We are wasting time here. We've got 30 packs to get through. So let's get cracking then here, guys, with our very first one. Do they... I can't remember what the back cards are. Are they like chibi or are they holographic or are they just nothing? I can't entirely remember. Anyway, let's see for ourselves, right? That's the best way to do it. So we have Kushina there. And I guess, yeah, our hitter then is at the back. And we have, guys, that's not going into focus. I think it's O. Oh, yeah, it is. I've just like lifted up there. It actually goes into focus now. So our very first pack, we've actually got a hit here. And it is an OR of Sasuke. And annoyingly, I pulled this card. Uh, it, was it in the last box? Was this the only one I pulled in the last box? I think it was. The... Um, uh, the the tier one wave two box. I think this is what I pulled. I, I I wasn't too sure who it was, but yeah, I'm kind of pretty sure it is Sasuke, unless I am uh, again mistaken. But um, yeah, it's a really cool card. It's a really great start. It's just so annoying that this was the only like big hitter we got in the last box and i forgot to leave it up but it is now there let's get on to pack number two then it's so typical man to you know start off with a bang get a hit and then it's like literally the only hit we got in the last box right so typical right so we have an sr of sakura here does that actually mean that the rest are yeah, the rest are all regulars. This this seems to be happening in some of these boxes uh, where the hit is then at the front and then sometimes at the back. It's just a bit weird. But yeah, this is just an SR of Sakura. Pack number three here then. Is it going to be the magic number? I know I always say that. It's not because this is uh, our hit straight away. At least I think it is. Yeah, just the SR of Dunzo. Fourth pack here then. And another SR, man, of Tamari. It's like really annoying that these SRs are put at the front. I just want to make sure, yeah, all uh, just rares at the back. But yeah, there you go, SR of Tamari. And I should say this is only tier two. So the pull rates like for those big hitter cards are still not going to be as high. So again, we've got another SR here. It seems for whatever reason, the SRs 
are all at the front. Yeah, there's definitely nothing else in there, um, which is getting a bit annoying. Should I open the cards from the other way? But uh, yeah, I mean, SR cards are nothing too crazy. They look pretty decent, but yeah, we're gonna see them time and time again in this series of videos. On to our sixth pack here then. And finally, we don't have an SR at the front. Does that mean then we should get something a little bit better at the back? I hope it does. So Sasuke, Sasuke, um, it's late when I'm filming this guy's Choji it was. I, I can never remember his name. So this card then, guys, is another, is it an OR? Man, the focus here is a pain today, but there it is. It is indeed an OR and it is, of Toby Rama. That is really cool with that dragon there in the background. I do have a Toby Rama though, but I think it's a UR. I don't think it's OR. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We definitely need to sleeve that one up. That's not too bad when you think about it. We got two ORs out of our first six packs, even if it is one uh, that I did already have. Just annoying that it was a. Um... Wait, it's definitely an OR, right? Yeah, I'm looking at it off camera here. It's quite hard for me to see on camera, to be perfectly honest. But uh, yeah, really cool card. It's just a shame that other OR there of Sasuke that was our only pull in the last video. And I mean, I did get some SSRs that I hadn't had before. I think even a couple of SRs, to be perfectly honest. But yeah, we only got that one hit, uh, which is always a bit annoying. So again, we only have an R here. But I guess we can get SSRs as well. It's not just all going to be ORs. Um, and the like. So in terms of this, guys, yep, yeah, there we go. SSR, oops, almost dropped it there. And it is of Itachi. Very, very cool card, but I'm pretty sure I have got this one already. But yeah, Itachi, one of, if not my favorite characters. So it's always cool to pull an Itachi card. So this is our eighth pack then, guys. And as you can see, straight away, we have an SR of 1010 just to double check yep the rest are all just those common cards and for this pack we have is that another sr i think it is i think it's eno's father pulled this one quite a few times now so just to double check yep all ours once again so this is our 10th pack and if i'm seeing the sr at the start guys i'm not going to bother showing you the r cards you well you probably haven't seen them all just yet uh in my series of videos because we're not like all the way through but um yeah, I know I've definitely got all of them. There are, are a hundred that are available so far. So we don't have an SR uh, here at the front. So it means we're going to get at least an SSR at the back. So we have Eno, we have Iruka, we have Sakura. Iruka once again, although it is a slightly different card. And so our hit of this one, guys. Oh, I think it's upside down, isn't it? Um, you know what, let's just do this. It is once again of Itachi. I'm pretty sure that is the same SSR that we just got. It is indeed. Um, yeah, annoying to get a duplicate, but like I said, I love Itachi. I love these cards. So yeah, I, I guess I've got to contradict myself now and say I'm a bit upset to get this Itachi card when we literally just got it a few seconds ago. So this is pack number 11, meaning we have got 20 packs to go including this one so this is just an sr of i think it, i think it was shikaku was his name right um shikamaru's father uh yeah we've seen this one quite a few times already 12th pack here then and we have an r so it means we're at least going to get an ssr so then iruka sakura karin pakun and what is that guys is that mr it is. I've only pulled one MR card so far from any of these boxes. MR is the highest uh, tier you can pull outside of the tier exclusive rarity. So the tier exclusive rarity in this case is CR, but we are going to get my second MR. And oh, look at that, guys. Um, yeah, I'm kind of... I, hold on, I might have to take a closer look at this one. I'm just looking at it off camera here, guys. I'm a at a bit of a loss. I'm gonna definitely need someone to help me out there. Is is this one of the characters from Boruto? Because I'm not I, like I haven't watched Boruto yet, but I'm not recognizing it um, as any of the like Otsutsuki family members. 
that we saw at the end of Naruto, unless I'm like completely blanking on something. Uh, so yeah, I might need help on that, but I'm very, very happy, as you guys can see, the MR rarity, as I said, the highest uh, like tier of rarity, or the highest pull you can get outside of the tier exclusive rarities. So, very, very happy with that. But um, yeah, it's just, I'm not 100% sure on who the character is. I think it must be someone from Boruto, unless I am having a major, major uh, mind blank. Pack number 13 here then, guys. And is it a unlucky or lucky number 13? Well, we have an R card here at the front, so we're at least going to get an SSR in terms of our hit. So we have uh, Sa uh, Sasuke, Sugetsu, Kiba, Never remember these Sound Ninja guys' names, so it is... Well, I think it's upside down. It's not that touchy card again, is it? No, it's not. So it was upside down. It is an SSR. Just making sure. Well, actually, it's pretty more obvious there with the SSR ones. They're of Deidara. And yeah, I'm not actually too sure I've got that one, to be perfectly honest. It does look pretty cool, and I was a fan of Daedara. I have said it a couple of times here on these videos, I do like my villains to be loud and brash. And if you're joining for the first time, I don't sleeve up the SSRs, even though some of them do look really, really cool. And I'm just having a bit of trouble getting into this one. I think that's just an SR, isn't it? Yeah, it is an SR of Kiba that we've seen quite a few times already. 15th pack here then, and the thing I was just about to say is that I do often say that I'm not sure I've seen that card, and then I do go back and you know find it in my collection. So uh, yeah, I'll probably keep saying it over and over again, because I, I don't really like spend a lot of time sorting through my collection, to be perfectly honest, or like I, I don't, I should be doing it regularly. I should be doing it after each one of these boxes, but I don't, I then leave it like, I've done like four or five boxes and then I go through my collection, which is probably a little bit stupid. Anyway, guys, I'm baffling because this is just an SR of Kankoro. And so we are halfway there and we've got two ORs and an MR, which is not too bad, though we have had a ton of SRs, not too many SSRs, but we are going to get at least an SSR here because we don't have an SR at the front. So Sugetsu, Kiba, that dude again, we have Kakashi, and at the bottom again, it, it's like upside down, but I think, I think it's just going to be SSR, it is indeed, and it is an SSR of Sakura, when she was younger, it's a very, very cool card, um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I do have this one. Pack number 17 here then, guys, and this one's actually, for some reason, a bit tougher, there we go, we've got it open. And oh, it is just an R, so again, we may, oh, we're at least getting an SSR, right? So we have Sasuke, can never remember his name, the leader of the samurai. We have a young Choji, we have Jugo, and at the bottom here, it's again seemingly upside down. So it is SSR of Minato, the fourth Hokage. I do have this card already, at least I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, it is very, very cool though. Some of these SSL cards do look really cool considering they are only like the third, I was about to say highest, but like third lowest uh, rarity, if that makes sense. Because it goes R, S, R, then S, S, R before you then get in to the other pools like tier exclusive rarities and so on and so forth. This looks like it is just an S, R, which it is of Captain Yamato. Fairly cool card. I do love it with the Hokage sculptures in the background, but yeah, we have seen this one a few times. Number 19 here then, guys. This one seemed to open really easily, to be perfectly honest. It is a, another SR, which is a little bit disappointing here, of Neji. I always want to make sure, but yeah, so far it's all been ours if we do have the SR uh, at the front. All right, this is our 20th pack then, guys, which means we've got 10 more to go after this one. So, this is a regular here of Kankuro, so it does mean we're at least getting an SSR. We've got Sakura here, never remember the torture guy's name. Sai and, okay, looks like it's upside down. We have an SSR of Sasuke. A very, very cool one with the Susanoo there in the background, but yeah, we have seen this one quite a few times already. Next pack here then, guys, and I am hoping we do get another couple of good pulls. I mean, we are tier two, so it's it's a bit low, but we're still at a point where we should be able to get at 
least one or two more hits. Definitely not going to get it in this pack because that is just an SR of Iruka Sensei. And I've said it multiple times before, the higher tier you go, the higher chance you have of pulling uh, rarer cards. So I think that's just an R, yeah. It looked actually very shiny there on camera. So we're at least going to get an SSR. Let's hope it is something a bit higher though. Naruto, we have Tomari. So it's upside down. So I think it is going to be an SSR because the SSRs are the ones that have been upside down. It is. And it's an SSR of Sasuke once again. It's not the one with the Susano in the background, but I think I did pull this one in the last video. So this is our 23rd pack here then, guys. And straight away we can see we have an SR of Lord Third, Hiruzen Saratobi, pack number 24. And we have just an R. So come on, come on, something better, man. Here then, Gamabunta. Naruto, Tamari, Shikamaru, and it's upside down, so I'm guessing it's going to be an SSR. It is, and it is of Hinata. Again, a really cool card, but yeah, one we do already have. Pack number 25 then here, guys. I mean, I'm really happy to have got an MR, but I was hoping to get something a bit more than a whole bunch of SR cards. We don't really have a ton of SSR either, to be perfectly honest. As you can see here, it is an SR of Minato, which I'm pretty sure I do already have. And so this is our final five packs, guys. And I'm really hoping we can at least get one more big hitter, like you are and above. But let's see, let's see. Well, we've got an R here to start off with. No, we haven't, it's an SR. It just didn't really look that shiny, to be honest. <laughs> hear like the disappointment in my voice but uh it is really annoying but again this is only tier two this sr of sakura final four here then i'm starting to feel that we maybe did peak too soon that's not an sr though come on be something cool at the back here naruto eating his ramen hinata the sound ninja dude gamakichi and we have Again, it's upside down, so I'm imagining it is an SSR. It is indeed of Rock Lee. I think I've seen this one quite a few times already. And I apologize if I sound disappointed, guys. It's just when you get the same cards over and over and over again uh, when you're doing these videos, it can be a little bit annoying, but it's the way of the game, right? You know, if you want, uh, you, you typically have to open up tons of these boxes uh, to really find all the cards. That's why once you've got quite a few down, it tends to make sense to, you know, actually just buy the cards that you need, at least in terms of, uh, you know, sort of cost savings, because, um, yeah, you could be spending tons and just getting the same cards over and over again, like this one, the SR of Genkaku and Kenkaku. I think that's what the brothers' names were. But at the same time, it's then really fun opening up these packs, even though, like I just said, it can be frustrating when you see the same cards over and over again. To complete your collections by just buying the cards you need is a little bit more boring, but as I said, it is more cost effective. So we have a chance here then at something. So we have Naruto, we have Hinata's sister, whose yeah, name always escapes me. Should Zune, we have Neji, and we have, again, it's upside down, so I'm imagining there is an S, oh, hold on, what's happened here then? No, we do have something else here, guys, it's a UR, so at least it's something slightly higher, and it's a UR that I think I have, actually, you know what, maybe it does look a bit different, no, you know what, I don't think I have this one, Gara, the Kazakage, because uh, I thought it was one of the uh, like Jinchuriki Tail Beast cards with uh, with Shukaku in the back, but I don't think it is, I think it is just his sand, well if it is Shukaku actually in the back, it's not like, you don't actually see his face, which is like those uh, Jinchuriki Tail Beast cards, so yeah, I actually don't have that one, I'm pretty sure, um, but as I said earlier, I do often say that and then I go and find it already in my collection. So we'll sleeve that up. Shame we didn't save it for the last one and uh, and kind of finish on at least somewhat of a decent hit. But you never know, there may still be something decent in this pack. And there isn't. 
it's just an SR guys of Neji's father whose name I also can't remember so yeah we don't unfortunately finish on a bang and so there we go guys that's all my pulls from tier 2 wave 2 the highlights of which were these four cards right here this UR of Gara my second MR card I've ever pulled of this Otsusuki family member who I still don't know who that is so if someone can let me know in the comment section below I would very much appreciate it and then we got these ORs of Tobirama and Sasuke a very cool card but we did that like was our only hit in the last video so that was a little bit annoying but it is what it is um yeah still on the hunt for some tier exclusive cards we didn't get the cr card but very happy to get that mr card it is the highest card you can pull outside of the tier exclusive rarities but yeah guys that is gonna do it for today's video so first and foremost, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me here on the Geek Lounge. It is very much appreciated, and I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If so, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Drop some comments below. What did you guys pull if you have opened up a Tier 2 Wave 2 box? And as always, we've got plenty more content on the way for you guys. The next video in this series, we'll be opening up the Tier 3 Wave 2 box, which introduced the Tier Exclusive NR card. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. What is the easiest way to stay tuned? It's very simple. Subscribe. Hit that subscribe button appearing now down below me and enable those notifications so you don't miss out. Over on your left, be sure to check out the Tier 1 Wave 2 box if you haven't already. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching today's video, and we will see you on the next one. Peace out, nerds.